play the most brutal shooter of the year. Warhammer 40k Darktide is the much-anticipated co-op action shooter from an award-winning team of developers. Pre-order and play now. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 scariest monsters in video games. For this list, we're looking at the most terrifying tyrants to take over our consoles and computers. Which of these foul creatures haunt you to this day? Let us know in the comments. Number 20. The Eel, Super Mario 64. There aren't a lot of video game monsters that still frighten us today due to the advancements made in graphics. However, the eel, or Unagi, from Jolly Roger Bay still disturbs us. It was already bad enough that it replicated the same cold stares as a real eel. Did it really have to be huge and flail violently when Mario gets too close? The giant chain chomp in bomb -on Battlefield was already a bit much for the little tykes, and we can only imagine how many kids went to bed with nightmares of this menacing underwater beast. Number 19. Pigsy. Manhunt. Get Manhunt already sports a creepy environment with its grit, gore, and psychopaths everywhere. Of the disturbing derelicts you'll come across, Pigsy sends chills up our spine today. Here, we have a big dude wearing a pig's face and dragging a chainsaw along the ground. Just how did he get to be that big, you might ask? Well, turns out Pigsy is one of the reasons why so many runners like Cash died. Those bodies had to be disposed of in some way, and Pigsy's savage behavior and habits were a convenient answer. Easily one of the most vile villains we've come across in gaming. Number 18. Chris Walker. Outlast. Outlast will thrust you into a labyrinthian asylum filled with psychotic and delusional inhabitants. Richard Traeger and Eddie Gluskin immediately come to mind, but Chris Walker is the big ugly mug we will never forget. He's not a monster who has more brawn than brains though. Walker is more than capable of tracking you down, to the point where most of your time with him is spent running away. Just from the way he barges through obstacles, we can only imagine what he's capable of when you're within his grasp. And we'd rather not find out. No more escape. Number 17. The Pinky. Doom Series. The Doom games have featured some grisly demons that briefly made the game a bit more horrific. Pinkies are the ones that terrify us the most. These bulky beasts only know one way to attack, charge forward and chomp you to bits. Their invisible cousins, the Spectres, are just as vicious too. The squealing, the armored skin, the speed, it all spells doom, no pun intended. And the opening to Doom VFR certainly cemented our fear towards them. Please, keep us as far away from them as possible. Number 16. The Endermen. Minecraft. On our original top 10 list, we had put the creepers super high at number 2. Yeah, we heard you, and we agree that those enemies might be good at jump scaring, but that doesn't quite equate to actually being scary. No, the Endermen are what makes us panic. Even when you're intentionally trying to fight them, they are disturbing, creepy, and unsettling. Just look at the way they shake violently and screech at you while never breaking eye contact. Their death scream is equally haunting, as it lingers around for an uncomfortably long time. 
and don't even get us started on the wither and its nearly unstoppable prowess. <laughs> Number 15, The Rat King, The Last of Us Part 2. We all have our banes when it comes to The Last of Us. Clickers, stalkers, bloaters. But of all the fungus-infected enemies we've come across, The Rat King is complete nightmare fuel. For those unfamiliar, do not let the name fool you. There is nothing rat-related with this abomination. What you are looking at is a disgusting amalgamation of clickers, stalkers, and one bloater. It is absolutely one of the most wretched things we've ever seen in video games, and the way it splits apart is extremely gross. Players, beware. Number 14, the Animatronics Five Nights at Freddy's series. Now, you're probably rolling your eyes at this one, and we can't fault you if you've been too familiar with the FNAF games. If you're someone who is into the jump scare stuff, you're probably desensitized to this. Thing is, that isn't why we're putting the animatronics on here. No, the main reason why we are giving them the recognition is because of their screams. You may not hear the full audio all the time, but when you do, you'll notice how something monstrous begins to sound much more like a regular person screaming or suffering. It's part of what made these games so incredibly morbid at the time of their releases. I see you over there in the dark! <laughs> Number 13, Finger Creepers, Elden Ring. Many of From Software's titles hold some frightening enemy designs. Elden Ring, on the other hand, houses a menace that is just downright sadistic of the devs to include. Finger Creepers are not exactly a monster whose appearance you can predict. These deviants hide deep in the ground and only spring up when you're within their clutches. Just watching them move about makes our skin crawl, and for some of us, it was enough to make us walk away from the game for a few days. Okay, maybe a week. A month. Forever. Number 12. Alma. Fear. <laughs> this little girl is the reason why we stay away from this horror FPS. Or at least, we would have if it wasn't so damn good. Alma is practically the main attraction of this game, haunting you with her presence and movement in a way that will make the player paranoid. She is always sitting just outside of your field of vision, enough to make you wonder if you actually saw her or if you're just getting spooked over nothing. And don't get us started on the notorious staircase sequence. Number 11, Lisa, P.T. Rest in peace, P.T., for you were one of the greatest things taken away too soon. Amongst its obtuse puzzles and creepy atmosphere, this playable teaser for the since-canceled Silent Hills was one of the coolest and scariest experiences ever. Lisa was a major factor in our morbid curiosity. Who was this lady haunting the halls? What was her connection to the baby in the sink? Was this the new Lisa Garland? Why did the devs have to have her show up in the creepiest spots? So many mysteries left unanswered. Number 10, The Baby, Resident Evil Village. Resident Evil has shown us many a disgusting and horrifying zombie, mutant, or tyrant of some kind. The baby from Resident Evil Village almost tops every other grotesque sight we've seen from Capcom's acclaimed horror franchise. It's kind of the reason why House Beneviento has a notorious reputation among fans. Ah! 
The way this thing crawls and drools all over the floor, the retching sounds it makes, the way it chases you after emerging from the shadows. It is a menace that keeps us from doing another playthrough. How this video's writer managed to play through the house six times is beyond us. Number 9. Banshees – The Haunted Mansion Yeah, didn't you know there was an official Haunted Mansion video game? Surprisingly, it's incredibly well made, and it is a haunt that will scare anyone regardless of age. One enemy in particular will be forever burned into your mind after your first encounter, the Banshee. These ghouls will fight by letting out ear-piercing screams, and your light will not protect you from them. Keep your distance and you might make it out alive. Just don't be surprised if the screams still echo in your mind long after they're dead. Number 8. The Flood – Halo Series Sergeant, we're surrounded! God damn it, Jenkins! Fire your weapons! There are too many, sir! Don't even think about it, Marine! There have not been too many enemies in the Halo franchise that would jolt our nerves, at least none that did it in the same vein as the Flood. We're talking about a race of parasites that seek only to infect and conquer, and they often come in massive swarms. For the Forerunners, the Flood got out of control to the point where they had to construct Halos in order to keep the Flood from spreading. And you want to know the most terrifying part about the Flood? There are real-world counterparts, the Green Banded Broodsack Flatworm and the Costa Rican Wasp. Number 7. Michael Myers – Dead by Daylight Though he isn't exactly a monster in the same sense as our previous entries, those being ghosts, parasites, etc., Michael Myers is evil incarnate, which does make him… a monster. And in Dead by Daylight, he is at his most brutal. His lack of a terror radius means survivors will have to keep a sharp eye out for him. And if you let him stalk you for too long, he can increase his evil within, making him faster, or even allowing him to take you down in a single hit. He may be one of the toughest players to play as, but he's also one of the toughest to go up against. Number 6. The Witch – Left for Dead series Oh, cool. <laughs> Next to Boomers, The Witch has to be the most alarming enemy across both of the Left for Dead games. If you hear a woman crying, you have got a witch in your vicinity, and it means you need to be extremely careful. Make too much noise or shine your flashlight on her, and she will come for you and only you. Not only that, but startling her will initiate a swarm of zombies to attack as well. You best be on your guard when the tears and wailing can be heard. Number 5. Stalkers – Dead Space Series Now let's get one thing straight. Every single necromorph across the franchise has been haunting our dreams for years now. Even so, there can only be one to stand above them all as the most traumatizing and terrifying necromorph, and that's the Stalker. Just look at those elongated fingers and spiked torso. What makes things worse is that they are incredibly stealthy beasts, meaning by the time that you notice they're there, you've already been attacked. The shrieking doesn't make the experience any more pleasant. Damn these stupid flightless birds. Number 4. Pyramid Head – Silent Hill Series Most creatures are all about making a racket to make their presence known. But for Pyramid Head, it's the small amount of noise that can make him the scariest. All the noise that comes out of him is mainly the strained and heavy breathing.
And then there's the way he just drags his massive knife and hearing it scrape against the floor. What is his purpose? Why is he trying to kill you? It matters not. All he wants is your death. Shoot or run if you want, but there is no escape. Number 3. Reborn Laura, The Evil Within There are plenty of dangers in The Evil Within that will hunt you down like the vermin you are. Between all of them, Reborn Laura is the most morbid and disturbing. There are several occasions where she will jump at Sebastian and begin chasing you with her cluster of elongated arms. Your only means of escape are to follow the main path of the story or stock up on explosives to roast this atrocity. Yes, fire is your best friend here, and it is her only weakness. Number 2. The Xenomorphs – Alien Isolation Whereas alien colonial marines made the Xenomorphs a total joke, Alien Isolation reminded us of why we should fear them. Xenomorphs are incredibly smart in this game, and their attacks are vicious enough to make you fear for your life for the rest of the game. We aren't exaggerating. You will become suspicious of every vent and grate you encounter throughout your campaign the second you observe them. Your best means of defense won't come until much later in the game either. So, steer clear and play it smart. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Marguerite Baker – Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Normally, we keep our entries to one per franchise, but we had to put Marguerite Baker on here as well as the baby. Marguerite is just that one monster that will horrify anyone who plays Resident Evil 7 with her disgusting moldy corpse, swarms of insects, and acidic venom. Still got some fight in your heart. <laughs> and then there's the part in her boss fight where a giant centipede squirms its way out of her mouth. It's true body horror, and it's what makes her the scariest monster in video games ever. It's just going to be impossible for anyone, even Capcom themselves, to top this. Play the most brutal shooter of the year. Warhammer 40k Darktide is the much-anticipated co-op action shooter from an award-winning team of developers. Pre-order and play now. 